Brother the Dahmer. In this video, we are going to learn how to rename database in SQL Server. So think about a scenario where you are working as a SQL Server developer and you need to provide scripts to rename a database in QA, UAT and production. But I'm going to show you two ways to rename a database in SQL Server. First, I will show you on GUI. Let's say you are uh, you want to rename a database on your local instance nobody else is connected no other process is uh, connected to this uh, database uh, and uh, you can simply right click here and go to rename and then just uh, click here and uh, rename so if i want to uh, rename tech brothers it to the tech brothers uh, so i can simply remove it part and hit to enter once i do that it will uh, rename i can uh, I don't have to right click and go to rename every time I can click here one more time and it will give me the this uh, cursor here so I can make change again so if I want to make it IT I can type it and hit enter so this is very simple when nobody is connected to the SQL server instance and you are the only person who's making changes now this is not going to happen uh, in the on, on the SQL Server instances uh, where people are using uh, or processes are using or applications are using uh, the database. Uh, in that case, uh, you have to write, uh, let's say if you want to do this manual, let me open a new query and this is connected to the Tech Brothers IT database. I'm going to go ahead and open another query that's also connected to the Tech Brothers IT. And uh, now if you will try to rename this one, uh, let's uh, do it and you see that it is a uh, taken uh, some time to rename and it's gonna throw us uh, error so it is gonna tell us like this database isn't used or is locked by other processes or something like that so we would know that there are other processes uh, which are using uh, this database so we cannot rename uh, till those are not uh, killed or disconnected so from here rename failed for database tech brother IT okay the database could not be exclusively locked to perform the operation this doesn't tell like okay there are connections they are uh, uh, connected with this database or processes which are using this database so we can do it this uh, uh, but this terror tell us something okay this is a uh, you cannot uh, put uh, a lock uh, on this database to perform the action uh, that means uh, there are some uh, other processes uh, which are using this uh, so if I will go ahead and disconnect uh, it will be able to uh, I will be able to rename uh, but think about that I don't want to go ahead and uh, rename uh, maybe there are other people or processes they are using it I want to know about them uh, so I can go ahead and write sys select star from sys uh, sys processes uh, this is going to give me all those processes uh, which are using this uh, database. So from here, you can see we have a DB ID. So if I would know the DB ID of this database, so Tech Brothers IT, I can uh, use in the where clause and get the processes uh, which are using this uh, database. How to get the uh, DB ID? I can use another select query and use the system views from sys.databases. And here now we use this one and we can get the ID so we see that to check whether IT the ID is the 10 so go back to this query and say DB ID sorry equal to 10 now in this case maybe there are only one or two processes uh, or other people they are using this uh, database maybe you will simply find it okay there are 54 and 55 and let's see who is doing it so we see that oh NT user uh, uh, Amir and uh, we have a uh, this is a host name let me see this is a host name the query is uh, coming from this okay who is uh, uh, which is the program maybe it's application or just the SSMS uh, so you can see from here and uh, if you feel like okay that they are not important and uh, you can go ahead and maybe kill uh, 54 and 55 so once you kill it then you will be able to rename from here but this, uh, what I'm showing you here to find out uh, which processes are using this database, uh, yeah, you will be able to do on the instance where you have all permissions, uh, but you will not have permission as a developer on production machines uh, or maybe on UAT or QA machines. Uh, and you will not be finding, uh, and maybe there are hundreds of connections uh, open for this database. You will not be killing one after one. So I'm going to show you how to kill all those connections and rename. But uh, first, uh, we are going to do one thing we are going to use the t sql to rename 
and uh, by assuming no connection is or no process is used in this uh, database so i have this script on tech brothers i'm going to use that one there are two store procedure here we can use uh, sp rename that's a system store procedure so i'm going to go ahead and uh, open a new query paste it here and uh, let's change the scope uh, to the another database we don't want to be in the same scope of uh, tech brother it as uh, we want to rename that database uh, so we are going to run execute uh, sp rename provide the old name so this is our old name and this is a new name we want uh, so i'm going to go ahead and run it and as you see that there is no other processes uh, running on this database or connected to this uh, database uh, so it should work just fine uh, so you can Go ahead and refresh database now it is uh, renamed and other uh, query or the way we can use it uh, alter database uh, if i copy this one and come back to this uh, now i'm gonna go ahead and rename so i'm gonna alter database tech brother it name is equal to tech brothers so i'm gonna go ahead and change it actually so modify name to tech brothers it so this is what i want this is my current name so that's what it is and uh, think uh, or assume uh, no connection or nobody is connected to this database as of uh, now that's why these queries are working so we have to run this one it's gonna go ahead and uh, change the name so you can use uh, this system store procedure or you can use alter statement to, to rename a database but problem is uh, when uh, people are or processes are connected so i'm opening new queries uh, assume that these are different processes or different peoples are connected uh, with the tech brothers uh, it now if i will uh, try to change it uh, even with this store procedure it's going to throw me error so i have to kill all those connections here i have a script uh, that uh, is written with this cursor you can use that one you can copy and paste and just change the database name and that will do everything it will kill all the connections and then we will be able to rename our database so you see the database could not be exclusively logged to perform the operation because these are different uh, connections open to the database so we are going to paste this script here this is not doing a really fancy thing this is only killing those all connections uh, what we found from sys.processes so you see that i'm using the same sys.processes here to find out and here is our database name so i'm going to go ahead and provide the database name and here is let's provide the database name now this script is going to get all the processes from tech brother it and then kill them one after one so we are looping through and uh, killing each connection connected to tech brother it database so at the end we can run this uh, store procedure or we can run modify uh, sorry alter database with modify to rename so let's go ahead and run the script make sure you have the permission so let's say if you are working as a developer and you need to mo modify or rename your database make sure the window you got from a business okay this is the time we are going to rename your database they are okay with that so i'm going to go ahead and run this script okay it killed all those connections so you see 53 and 54 and then we can go ahead and run our rename store procedure so rename is done so think about that here as a developer if i'm working on i kill those connections but maybe in production the process will re uh, try to reconnect right away applications there are applications if you will uh, they are there they will try to reconnect it so new connection will be open right away so you don't want to run this script uh, sit for 10 minutes and come back and say okay now let me rename my database so you want to use uh, this uh, right after that one so if you have a cursor then right after that one uh, you can uh, use this one you can use a go statement between if you like or just uh, use go here so make them separate and uh, run this one let's say now what we have here tech brother that's the current database name so if we want like to change back to it so i'm gonna go ahead and copy all the way from uh, killing all connections so here you see that connections are closed but uh, we can go ahead and reopen them come on so this is as uh, the database was deleted uh, and I click on that query window it's taken some time and we can let me open this one again so let's can open some connections you can query 
and let's go back here now we have open one connection first part is going to kill that connection and second part is going to rename the tech brothers uh, uh, database to the tech brothers it so run together and you see that it should work just fine now we should see the message let's wait for a second my computer is a uh, slow and um, in your case uh, I hope uh, that's not uh, the issue okay so it is saying the database is exclusively logged um, let's see we, we that's true and uh, let's run this one separate and see what happened now if we run this one you can go ahead and kill the connections and then rename separate maybe real quick now it should not be the issue or actually maybe it, it was okay tech brothers yeah so that's the right name and we are renaming to the tech brothers IT database so database actually locked perform let's see what exactly is the, oh okay so <laughs> see what, what, what mistake we are making we are using them see this this is working fine because there was no this uh, database name is incorrect here so we need uh, tech brothers IT here so we are want to kill the connections to tech brothers uh, not the tech brother IT because this is the kind of current database here so we have to have this one and together now so sorry I, I had tech brothers IT here and I was killing those connection and that database did not exist so we were not getting any error here for the cursor but it was not able to kill the connection as our database was wrong and the connection is available for tech brothers not tech brothers it so that was the reason now once you have the right database name here it's going to kill all connection related to tech brothers and then rename from tech brothers to the tech brothers it let's run it it was a good practice to see how things work and sometimes we make mistake when we copy the code from internet and just don't pay attention what the parameters it uh, it need or what we need to make changes so we see that it uh, uh, kill the process ID 53 and now the name is done let's go ahead and refresh and we see that the database name is corrected one more time make sure you kill those connection and then rename so you can use this cursor I'm gonna put this link in the description and uh, uh, I hope uh, this video will be helpful as a DBA and developer and uh, as a developer I do use these scripts uh, very often uh, sometime uh, for the staging databases and all those where we need to rename before starting a process and uh, after completing the process uh, we have to do uh, rename back uh, to something uh, so there are tons of scenarios where we use uh, these uh, rename in uh, databases scripts so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time